We're live. Okay, thank you. Sergeants, will you begin your recordings? Cloud is up. Backup is rolling. Thank you, Sergeant Kowalski. You may begin the opening. Good morning, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing of the Committee on Finance. At this time, would council staff please turn on their video? Please place electronic devices on vibrate or silent. Thank you, Chair. We are ready to begin. Good morning, and welcome to today's meeting of the Committee on Finance. I am Council Member Daniel Drum, and I'm the Chair of the Committee. This morning, we are joined by Council Members Amphrey Samuel, Cornegy, Rodenchik, Koslowitz, Lewis, Powers, Cumbo, Matteo, Diaz, and Rosenthal. Today, the committee will be voting on five items, a transparency resolution, two Article 11 property tax exemptions, and two bid related resolutions. Let's begin with the transparency resolution. The transparency resolution sets forth the new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging, anti-poverty and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. As with all transparency resolutions, council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Disclosure forms must be completed and submitted prior to the vote on the transparency resolution and may be emailed to Charles Davis. Next, we have two land use items. The first is Astoria Towers in Councilmember Moyer's district. This action will provide a partial 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption to uh, support the preservation of 62 units of affordable rental housing. The second is, Clare is Claremont area in Majority Leader Cumbo's district. The action will provide a full 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption to support the preservation of 41 units of affordable home ownership. Each council member is supportive of the exemptions in their district. Finally, we have the two bid resolutions. These resolutions set the hearing date of May 13, 2021 in, council, in City Council Virtual Room 1 at 9 a.m. for the Finance Committee to consider local laws that would authorize amendments to the district plans of the two business improvement districts. The first resolution relates to the Flatbush Avenue Business Improvement District in Council Member Eugene's district, which, seek, which seeks an amendment that would authorize additional services for the district and change the method of assessment on which the district charge is based. The second bed resolution relates to the Queens Plaza Court Square Business Improvement District in Council Member Van Bremer's district, which seeks an amendment that would change the method of assessment on which the district charge is based. Are there any questions on any of the items on the agenda? Seeing none, I'm going to ask Billy uh, Martin, the committee clerk, to uh, call the finance committee roll. Good morning, thank you, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on finance. All items are coupled, chair drum. I vote aye. Powers. Vote aye. Koslowitz. I vote aye. Cornegie. I'm sorry, I. Thank you. No. Combo. I vote aye. Thank you. Rosenthal. I vote aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Amphrey Samuel. Aye. Ayala. 
Aj Voraj. Moja. Aj Voraj. Louis. Aj Voraj. Dharma Diaz. Councilmember Diaz, I believe uh, I didn't hear you. We'll come back, Councilmember Diaz. Brooks Powers. I vote aye. Matteo. Aye. Dharma Diaz. I vote aye. Thank you. You're welcome. One moment. Okay, by a vote of 16 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Really? Thank you very much. And with that, um, I'm going okay. to say this. All right. One second, can we hold the vote open and Council Member Gredentric has his hand raised. I'm sorry. I just want to uh, chair, um, I'll wait for you to recognize me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, uh, Council Member Gredentric, of course. I just want to thank my colleagues. I neglected in my vote to um, thank Chair Drum and Speaker Johnson and all of you who have been advocating uh, for emergency food allocations uh, I added up the package. It seems to be uh, between 16 and $17 million more, um, a further step to make sure that nobody in this city goes hungry. And I know how hard the speaker, uh, our chief of staff, uh, Chair Drum and others, um, Chair Levin have worked on this. And um, I think this is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And we'll continue to press for more so that no New Yorker ever goes hungry. So thank you, Chair Drum. Um, thank you. For allowing me to make remarks. Thank you, Councilmember Gretenchik. You are becoming known as the food man. So uh, we are very uh, grateful for your advocacy as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chair, we've been joined by Councilmember Gibson. Great. Councilmember Gibson, your vote. Councilmember Gibson. Councilmember Gibson. <laughs> Councilmember Gibson, we're waiting for your vote. Councilmember Gibson. I'm sure she's trying to change that that uh, backdrop. Probably. Uh, Chairman, Councilmember Gibson is having some technical issues with her sound. Uh, staff is helping her out with, uh, with it now, and she should be on shortly. Okay. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Chair. I didn't think we started. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry about that. I'm like, why okay. don't I hear anything? <laughs> okay. I vote yes on today's agenda. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right. Thank you, uh, Councilmember Gibson. We appreciate it. All right. Hey, thank that, you, this Mr. Chair. Adjourned. Yes. Mr. Chair, Committee Clerk William Martin, and really just uh, final vote committee now in finance. All items have been adopted by a vote of 17 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, no abstentions. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Billy Martin. And uh, with that, this meeting is adjourned at, uh, I guess, I don't know what time it is. Let me see. <laughs> it's 9.45 a.m. in the morning. It's a busy day today. Thank you very much. <laughs>